Mel Mechanic here. We're back at the Bronco Sport today because I'm going to give you an update on the, uh, the stereo I did. So this is going to be basically uh, level 2 and level 3 uh, all on the stereo. Now in the first video I'll put a link for it right here if you haven't seen that. But the first one I did is I put speakers in the door and powered them from the uh, stock head unit. And I was going to see if I wanted to put an amplifier on it. I found out pretty quick that yes, in fact, I did want to put an amplifier on it. Not because they sounded gross or bad or anything like that, but I just wanted a little bit more power. So here's the amplifier I used. It is an X802-5, a Kenwood. Um, I wanted to get a Pioneer just to match all the other Pioneer stuff, but it was out of stock, so I got this Kenwood. And I'm happy I grabbed this because it's a pretty small amplifier. Again, you know, just like the speakers, it says high res audio. Don't know what that means, but whatever, I'll go with it. Um, ran the power just like a standard amp. Got my ground going to a nice ground. And uh, I did run an, a remote turn on, uh, but apparently I don't need to use that with this amp because it can detect uh, the speaker, the line level, when those turn on, this amp turns on. So I really didn't need that, but I ran it anyway. Um, I put sound dinner all over this back right here. Um, I got little blocks right here and here and here to raise up the spare tire to make clearance for my wires right there. And uh, so because I had to get rid of that mount that's right here, I have to flip my spare tire over so it's this way as opposed to, you know, that way. Um, so the tire goes over here. But installing this and powering the speakers wasn't worthy of another video. It was marginally better. Didn't really want to make another video, but what this led me into was I wanted to put a subwoofer. So... I didn't want to have a subwoofer out where you could see it. I didn't want it taking up any interior space. So it had to be underneath here. So two things, I don't like what the storage Ford gave me. They gave me these little kind of chintzy styrofoam storage trays. And I don't like how that tray piece, that flat piece goes in here. It leaves a gap right there. It leaves a gap down here. It's just not very clean. So, let me show you what I did. As I built this contraption. So this is just a tray I made. It's got the cutout for the spare tire. And you can see it's about you know, five inches there, or about six inches there or so, but it's at a little bit of an angle. But it gives me a lot of storage here and here. But you see this box, this space it gives me. So what I put here kind of gives it away is the port here. And let me flip it over and show you. So on the bottom of this, I have an eight inch subwoofer. And this volume of the box is three quarters of a foot. And that eight inch subwoofer just barely fits in there. And I cheated on this because where I got that subwoofer from is this over here. Now I have this laying around. This is an old subwoofer I had. It's an old Pioneer powered, you know, home theater system. But it's an SW8MK2. And apparently it's a pretty good one. It's an inexpensive one, but it sounds pretty good. But I liked it because it had a port. And it was down firing. So what I did is I cheated and I found the volume of this. And I matched it to this. This box right here is the same volume as that one. This one has a down firing subwoofer. Like there. And it has a front port. So this has a front port just like that. So basically I just copied this one install all of their design so i take no credit for that but i did find a way to fit it inside this space here so let's go ahead and put this in the back and show you what it gives me 
All right, I got that tray installed. Really can't see much of a difference back here. Definitely can't tell there's a subwoofer there. But if you look, this edge now is right in line with that sill. So there's no overhang there. So I brought this end up and now this transition is flat with the back of the seats. So this is a lot flatter. And the way Ford had it, if you wanted to equal with those back seats, it was really at an angle and everything rolled down. Now, we open this, look how much storage I have. See the spare tire with the amplifier underneath that. I got my rope, got my tool kit, some hand tools, trash bags, some wipes. Even got my jack there. Got more room for other stuff. A ton of room back here. Got a little pocket there, a little pocket there. But, and right there is the subwoofer. Let me show you how, how it works. Kind of hard to explain, but there's a gap right here between the bottom cushion and the backrest. Let me show you. All right, I got the uh, back bottom seat removed, the cushion, and uh, FYI, just to remove it, there's only two little clips, and you just, you just pull up on the front, and the whole thing comes off. What I was hoping for when I originally did it was enough room down here to put my amp, but they fill it up pretty good with padding and styrofoam and stuff, so there really wasn't any room here. But what I was talking about, where the gap is, is right here. And so the seat cushion comes right here, and there's a little bit of gap to allow the sound to come out from that subwoofer. So having a down-firing subwoofer there, the sound's coming up from the subwoofer, and then the port's over here, so the port's shooting this way. So it's a really balanced sound. And because it's a down-firing subwoofer, nothing's going to get there. You can't damage it. You can't throw something back and have something poke through the subwoofer or whatever, because it's really protected right there. Um, but can't hardly really tell it's back there. Can't tell at all. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's rig up my microphone. We'll put the same song on and uh, let's listen to it and see how it sounds. Okay, back in the car. I got my microphone set up roughly where my ear holes are when I'm driving. Got my EQ set just about where it was before. Um, I got my gains up pretty high. We we'll played at 15. 15 is pretty loud. What I found that true to just about any stereo that's integrated like this, they tend to roll off the bass pretty early. So I got my gains up pretty high on the front and rear door speakers. So my uh, my bass doesn't roll off so quickly. So what I do is I usually listen to it right around 10 or 11 before I was up to 15 to get some good sound but now it's it's down there um, but let's go ahead and play the same royalty free song here let's see how it sounds This thing's loud enough where the neighbors can now hear it. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing, but I love it. I think it sounds phenomenal. So money well spent. Uh, I wish Ford did this from the factory. Um, I know they have the B&O speakers, but I don't think they're anything like this. Um, so upgraded, uh, oh, saving battery. Upgraded front speakers, 
upgraded rear speakers and an 8 inch subwoofer A-OK -okay. sounds good so anyway uh, thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't I would appreciate it and have a nice day